We're basically welding four Milky Bars together to make a box section bridge and then we're doing the mechanical testing of those bridges compared to a single Milky Bar to see how much stronger you can uh, weld, make a welded bridge compared to a single uh, plank of uh, Milky Bar. Most people guess that maybe you can make it twice as strong, four times as strong, but we've had bridges 20 to 50 times as strong as a single Milky Bar and with the weights piling up. So it's really showing that when you use welding to make things, you can make them a whole lot better. It was actually my idea, I came up with it in my kitchen. I wanted to sort of find an experiment which actually had real welding. You're melting things, you're fusing them together, they're solidifying, and the kids can actually make a weld. Now obviously, steel welds at 1500 degrees C, a little bit unsafe. We're just using hot water from the kettle in a wine bottle. And the idea is it's an experiment that kids can try it at home. It's like, do try this at home, try it in the classroom, and um, uh, that anybody can try it. So we're showing the kids how to do it here, but there's no reason they couldn't go home and try it for themselves try different types of chocolate bars, so we're just trying to sort of spark their imagination with a material that melts and freezes at, at, at a range of temperatures that they have in their own kitchen. It's been, we've been really, um, uh, really popular. The kids come along and obviously they're going, oh, chocolate, can we eat the chocolate? And um, we let them eat it after they've tested. We make sure they do the science bit and all the welding and the experiment first, but uh, we, we actually have more broken bits and we had kids to eat it all, so I'm surprised. <laughs>